How's it going everybody? Tyler here from Team Cough and I'm here with Drew today and he's a subscriber and I'm taking him fishing up here in Glenwood Springs, Colorado. He's from the Midwest and he's not really well versed as far as all the fishing up here in the mountains so instead of doing some still water fishing I figured take him on the rivers because that's what most people want to do when they come up here. So we're going to be fishing the Roaring Fork River today and the Colorado River, basically the rivers that are running through Glenwood, hopefully getting him into some big fish, hopefully breaking some PBs. So stay tuned guys, wish us luck and yeah, see you at the water. So everybody, we'll be using mostly Dynamic Lures products today. I'll be starting with the HD Natural. He's gonna be going with the HD Brown. Let's see what we can do. Oh yeah, everybody. True is on. Oh! <laughs> yep, we saw it. That counts. Oh! Yeah, I saw him take it. He came up right to the surface. All right, well, they're here. There we go. Ooh, shoot. He popped. Yeah, shoot. Oh, that wasn't a bad sized fish either. There we go. It's a cutthroat, wow. That's a pretty one, wow. Well, that's sweet, you guys. I've never caught a cutthroat out of this river. That is a gorgeous cutthroat, my goodness gracious. There it goes. So me and Drew, we're just bouncing around right now, um, just trying to get some more fish. Luckily we got the skunk out, but anybody that's a subscriber that comes fishing with me, I'm gonna be giving them this Dynamic Lures catalog. It's got some good fish porn in there for lures, and then in the back of it, it's got a discount code for Dynamic Lures. So there you go, Drew. Thank you. Use it well. Nice, look like Drew is on. Nice, I'm coming. Nice. Nice, man. Yeah, cut the other cut bow. It's a good one. Nice, dude. Very nice. <laughs> Let's go. Wow. It's a fun fight in these rivers, too. On an ultralight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. That's awesome. <laughs> Good stuff. That is a solid cup of that nice, those white tips and then... See that slash? Yeah, very faint. Very, very faint. Oh it's there. Goodness. That's awesome. That's a beautiful fish too. Good stuff, dude. <laughs> That's cool. Yep. About 15 and, a, 15, 15 and a quarter with the stretch. Awesome stuff. Heck yeah. Dude, yes. Cool. Perfect. Sweet, Heck man. Yeah, Hell yeah. That is why I can't. <laughs> Let's see if we can get some bigger ones. Drew is on again. S slaying him. And he might try to dive into it. So if he does, it's all right. Just work him out. Nice. Yeah, just keep him, keep him left. See that one jump down there? <laughs> Holy crap. There's that, all these little flies are hatching and they're all jumping out of for him. You got it. We got Drew in the middle of a battle here, the good sized trout. Jumped three times now. Yeah. And it is way that reminds me so much of Steelhead. <laughs> I wish we had Steelhead out here. They are fun. 
My best is 16 and a half counts. Jeez, dude. <laughs> well, you're not gonna get a trout that big, uh, but we'll get some good ones. That's yeah, fighting. This is like pulling a pin down by the water. Ooh! That shit is, that shit is yeah, I can see that rod. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta feel everything. In case people were wondering, we got Drew's rocking about it looks like a six foot eight ish. Six six ultra light from B and M. There we go. The TCB series from Midway USA. There we go. Holy oh yeah, dude. Oh yeah, dude. Get that head up, baby girl. Oh yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. That is a good oh. one right there. That's definitely. That's definitely over 16. Not every day you see this in Indiana. I can guarantee you that. <laughs> you get rainbows and some browns, but nothing like this. Thank you for doing that. Here, you, uh, you put them back in the net. I'll have you hold that. Okay. 17 and a half. 17 and a half, no fin stretch. So that's about 18. All right, you guys. Near 18 incher. 17 and a half, no fin stretch. So if we stretch that fin, which they encourage to do on these measurements, that's either way, regardless, that's Drew's new PB. <laughs> yeah. I think that's just a straight up rainbow too. I'm not seeing a slash. Here, the best way to tell, poke their head up from the top. No, there's a slash, it's also faint. Yep, there we go. Nice cut bow. <sighs> Excellent work. Ooh, oops, that's nice release. <laughs> I was thinking about it. No, there it goes. Sweet. Yep, slowly making its way back up river. Yeah. Dude, yes. Well, you're gonna have to start keeping track of PBs by species <laughs> now up here. All right, Drew's up in his car dropping his fly rod off. I am, uh, we gotta go walk over and find my drone and crash into a tree. So, first time I've ever crashed my drone before. So, we're about to go get, a, get into a goose chase for that, then we'll get into some more fishing. All right, spot one to summarize things. I lost a bunch of fish, he caught a bunch of fish, and I crashed my drone. So we're gonna be moving on to spot two, see you there. All right, so we're in spot two, and the water here on the Colorado is definitely starting to drop. With all the precipitation that we got this summer, um, you know, it was flowing pretty high, but it's pretty low, and the layout of this spot, I kinda know the whole bottom of it, and it's gonna probably be fairly shallow, so We'll be here for a little bit, see if we can at least get a fish or two, and then we'll move on to spot three. What I was telling you guys about shallow, look at that. Just so you guys don't think. <laughs> Drew, found the deep, Drew found the deep spot. All right, so just like we thought, really shallow water, couldn't get a bite. Fished here for about 45 minutes. So we're gonna move on to spot three, see you there. All right, everybody, spot three, the wave, one of my favorite spots to fish. Hopefully we can get him into some bigger fish. Um, as you guys saw, I broke the PB cup, but hopefully we can get him into a PB rainbow or a PB brown as well. Got one. Oh yeah. This seems like it's not bad. All right, now the tricky part always is, you guys, any of you that have been watching the channel for a while know about this current right here, right in front of me, this main current. Gotta loosen the drag a little bit. Oh boy. Oh boy. No! 
Oh, that's tough. Okay, everybody, so kind of wide. We're gonna be hitting four spots today. We're at the confluence now between the Roaring Fork and the Colorado River. We decided to come back here. Sorry for yelling, it's just a lot of high water right now, so. But yeah, this water's looking pretty prime, as you can see, so hopefully we can get a couple trout out of it. There we go. Oh yeah, that's a good fight. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's a nice one. <laughs> All right, you guys. I was waiting, wondering if I was gonna get a good one, and this is definitely a good one. All right. Now oh, he's just chilling. There you go. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. I knew there was gonna be one right there, dude, on that rock. Yeah. Well, he's stuck behind the rock now. Hopefully I don't lose him. Okay, everyone, it's nothing crazy, but nice little cut bow. I gotta check the slash, so. Yeah, but solid. Oh. There it is. Dude, come down here. First rainbow, oh, first rainbow of the, all right, take three. Dude, I'm telling you, <laughs> and Drew's on with the double up, oh no. <laughs> all right, first rainbow of the day, everybody. See you later. Getting close to the end of the day here. Right in that seam, dude. Gotta, gotta fish the seams. No, those kayakers waved at me. I wasn't yelling at them. <laughs> oh, dude, solid. 
Dude, solid one. Oh! <laughs> there he is. Nice. Dude, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> a couple times and uh, carry my forceps. No. Oh. oh. Damn it. <laughs> Hey, we got it on film. It yeah, it definitely it counts. counts. It definitely counts. Okay, well, four spots, solid day on the river. Drew, how'd you enjoy your time? It was very enjoyable. It was those, very enjoyable. Those HDs are no joke. Awesome, man. <laughs> Glad you enjoyed it. Glad we could get you into a PB cut bow. Um, couldn't get him into a PB rainbow or a PB brown because all he caught was cut bows, but hey, can't complain about that. There was some really good fishing done today. All in Glenwood Springs, Colorado as well. So if you guys are ever in the area, try to hit some water around here, try to get in some nice fish. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Hit the like button if you did, subscribe if you're new, and until next time, guys, keep cops on and out.